What's up everybody and welcome back to my little corner of YouTube where it's time to level me up. Today I am looking at Star Wars Force Arena. Um, if you have not already downloaded this game, it came out about a week ago so it's still relatively new. Not a whole lot of people on it. There was a beta, um, but overall, I mean, there's only a few hundred thousand people playing this. So in mobile gaming, that's pretty small. But today, a couple of things I wanted to look at here. Um, there will be a link to a couple of other videos that I've done that didn't upload properly in the description down below. So definitely go check those ones out. But um, today, I wanted to take a look at, firstly, trading. Um, I do definitely think it is underused because there is a lot of good stuff you can get from it here. Um, so in the trade list, you can trade 10 commons for one rare, 10 rares for one epic, 10 epics for one unique. And the unique always goes along with a specific legendary. Um, right now, my legendaries that I have, I have Luke Skywalker. Princess Leia, this guy who I hate, Director Orson Ken Krennic, and lastly, the Grand Inquisitor. This is, of course, all the starting legendaries. The other cool part about trading is, is that you don't actually lose the card, you just lose the ability to upgrade it as fast. So let me show you here with the commons. So, for example, let's say this guy, the Pathfinder. Pretty decent guy. I've got him level 4 right now. If I were to trade away all three of these, I still can have the Pathfinder in my deck. He'll still be there, regardless. It's just I will now need to get three extra cards to be able to level him. So if I'm so right now I'm 3 of 15, I would go back to 0 of 15, but I'd still be able to play with him. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to trade 10 epics for a unique and then I'm going to trade to get the legendary that goes with that unique. And the whole reason why you do that is because the unique is only playable with that specific legendary. So it's kind of like a boost for that legendary. Um, so let's start off there. Now, as you can see here, a few uniques there. The only ones that I really play with are going to be this one, the light tank. And occasionally the ATST. Um, I'm really not a huge fan of the grenades. Never really get to uh, use them very regularly. And then the turrets, they're all right. Um, I'm sure they'll be better once they're leveled up. But right now they just, it's too high of a cost for too little benefit. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them for a unique. So let's start it off here. Now, to get the unique, it is going to cost you 5,000 gold. So that kind of sucks, but it's okay. Actually, 5,300 gold. Um, get rid of that laser turret. The uh, the TIE Bomber is actually pretty awesome. Um, it does kind of like an area of effect attack, so it'll take out a ton of small units. But here goes our 10 epics. Let's see what unique we get. Spending that gold. Nien Nub, leader Lando Calrissian. So that's the leader that I want to get now. Let's take a look at this guy's stats. So right there. Fades enemy melee attacks and deals ranged AoE attack damage to nearby enemies. There's a little uh, background on him. And of course, these are upgradable. So as you get more of them, you can upgrade him and it'll increase his health and attack power and uh, probably his attack speed. So next thing is, is we want to definitely get the leader. We don't have the ability to trade for a leader just yet. We do have to wait six hours. So in six hours, I'll come back and I'll go ahead and make that trade. Now it's really just a question of which leader do I want to trade for him. But before we do that, let's get one more leader. This is the second thing I wanted to show off today. So this is missions. And missions 
um, basically, as you do them, you get rewards. Pretty simple. So here's a look at all 10 of the Mission 1 missions, or all 8 of the Mission 1 missions. And once you're done, you'll be able to collect that last reward. I will claim that light tank, because I like playing Rebels a lot. And you'll get Han Solo for the first mission. After the second mission, you'll be able to get Boba Fett. So this will be eight more ro missions that you have to complete to get Boba Fett. Now on the other side, as you can see here, there's a legendary card selector. So I'm not even going to trade now that I just realized that. But let's go ahead and let's collect that reward. And if you can wait for this, like if you can get all the way over there and then choose your own unique, you can utilize this legendary card selector. And you can choose whatever legendary you want. Of course, we're going to go with... Uh... There he is. Lando Calrissian. So now we have the legendary and the unique for, for, for him. So let's claim that. Dun, dun, dun. Now let's go build a deck. So the next one, let's see will be another legendary card selector. Oh, I guess it's, uh, I gotta wait for the next special missions to actually show up. Whoops. Here's a list of, uh, here's just a quick look at everything that's up there so far. This actually was super easy. Was able to complete it in about two days, and the longest one that I had to wait for was opening the play pack, because I'd already opened two play packs. And so I had to wait a day for it to reset. But let's go create a uh, quick deck with this guy. There we go. And let's go ahead and add him in there. Where shall we add him in? Let's get rid of the Grenaders. All right. I will upgrade them while I have it. It's always good to upgrade all of your cards as soon as you can. Um, I keep some of the rares around, so if I'm not using them, I'll keep them. Majority of the commons I will upgrade right away, whether I'm using them or not. And the reason for that is just that way I can go ahead and get the experience so I can work on leveling up. Right now I'm level 6, and um, the higher your level... The, the higher your shield generator will, health will be, as well as your um, turret health and attack power. Alright, so let's try this new deck with Lando and Nian Nub. We're just going to try a quick one-on-one -on -one and see how well it works. Wait a second here. Recently, uh, in Tier 3, I've uh, been able to get some pretty fast battles going on here. There we go. All right. I've never used Lando before, so hopefully he does pretty well for me. Oh. Hopefully my network doesn't fail me. Jeez. Alright, now you guys will notice my playstyle here. I like to sit back and wait for them to attack. So we've got a bunch of these guys coming up here. I'm just going to drop these guys over here. I'm going to come over this way and attack here. As he drops that dirty bomb. Okay, I'm going to send Sniper up this side with Nian. Then I'm going to go this way with this big machine gunner, and we're going to attack the hell out of this. I'm going to wait for him to take the damage, though. There we go. All 
All right. They're trying to attack that one. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of there. Damn you, poisons. All right, we got his leader. Now we got to finish this stuff off. Okay, change cards in hand with new cards. Oh, that's a pretty cool thing. Um, not going to do that quite yet. I'm just going to die. I'm getting my ass kicked here, but it's okay. Oh. Got another sniper. That's pretty badass right there. Get this. There we go. All right, let's see if I can uh, actually take down one of the towers here. Because right now I'm totally failing to do that. Oh, Nian's dead. Now we'll watch as uh, they just kind of come up here. And uh, there we go. Need my Wookiee Warrior up in here. Let's get this guy back here. Wookiee Warriors are great against the... Um, are great against the uh, vehicles. Uh, they deal a lot of damage to them really fast. So that's always nice. I'm going to send this guy over there. They got me, and they're heading up. I'm not even going to destroy one tower. How terrible is this? Oh my god. Oh my god, man. This guy does not have a whole lot of melee troops or anything. So, uh... There we go. Let's just X-wing the hell out of that. There we go. Got some of them. Yes! We got a turret! We got one! We got one! And we got their leader. Let's see if we can get this stuff over here. Oh, and I'm dead again. Now, don't worry about your leader being defeated because it just takes time to get him back. Um, in this case, it sucks because I'm going to lose the match um, because we weren't able to take down that second turret. Um, I don't know why it's still sitting at zero and we're still able to just kind of walk around. That's fantastic, though. There we go. Finally connected. So I think right now I need to work a little bit more on just playing Lando. I'm used to playing um, with Luke or with um, the Inquisitor is the one that I've been playing with pretty regularly right now. And with that, you want to rush up there and, and get your lightsaber going and dealing damage as much as possible. Um, but this was just kind of a quick look here at getting the unique and also matching the unique with the legendary. Um, also a quick look here at missions and how to get those rewards. Um, so I definitely hope you enjoyed it here. Uh, definitely hit that like button. If you want to check out more of these videos, I'm going to be posting them up every single week. Looking to get one video up either every Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I'm going to be getting up another just kind of little extra video up on Sundays here in the new year. So definitely uh, hit that subscribe button and come back and check that out. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by and have a great day.